we present an efficient method for multi-person 3D polypose estimation in general scenes from a single RGB camera. Our single shot approach does not require prior bounding box extraction and jointly infers 2D and 3D body joint locations in an occlusion robust manner. At the core of our approach is a fully convolutional deep neural network with two branches. The 2D branch predicts 2D joint heat maps as well as part affinity fields which are later used to associate the 2D joint detections with persons in the scene. The parallel 3D pose branch predicts occlusion robust pose maps which jointly encode the 3D pose of all persons in the scene without having to scale the number of outputs to the number of people in the scene. 2D joint detections are obtained through non-maxima suppression on the predicted heat maps and assigned person IDs through the use of the predicted part affinity fields, as proposed by Kao and colleagues. Then the 3D pose per person can be inferred from the predicted occlusion robust pose maps using our occlusion aware pose readout process as described in the paper. Training our approach is made possible through our new multi person training set composited from real images. We leverage the 3D pose ground truth and segmentation masks available for MPI INF 3DHP dataset and for randomly picked frames per camera view construct a multi-person composite. This allows user controlled synthesis of a large corpora of real composited multi-person images. Further appearance diversity can be introduced through augmentation. We additionally introduce a new multi-person test set captured in a variety of indoor and outdoor scene settings, covering a diverse range of clothing and activities, with ground to 3D post reference provided by a markerless motion capture system. We also make per joint occlusion labels available for further fine-grained performance analysis. Our occlusion robust pose map formulation combined with the occlusion aware readout from the pose maps allows reliable 3D pose inference even in the presence of strong occlusions, as shown on the right, unlike the degradation in performance seen for V-necked on the left. As compared to the approach of Rockies and colleagues, our approach better captures the extent of articulation of the subjects. Please refer to the main paper and the supplementary document for further comparisons. While our approach can handle strong occlusions, errors in 2D prediction or the misassociation of body joints to person IDs can lead to failures. Additionally, our approach fails when similar body parts of subjects in the scene are in close proximity or overlap. Here we show some more results on our test set. For quantitative results, please refer to the main paper and the accompanying supplementary document. Thank you for watching.